If we know how to observe it carefully, we can often see the impact trauma has on someone's body. But how does the brain process trauma? According to Dr. David Berselli, the neurological changes of trauma precede the psychological ones, and understanding how the sequence works could be a key step in a trauma survivor's healing process. Here David Berselli gives us a view of trauma from inside the brain. If you think of the brain in very simple ways, you've got parts of the brain like the brain stem which help control things like blood pressure, heart rate, breathing, those autonomic things that happen. So they're not part of our consciousness. But then we have the midbrain, and this is the key place when we're talking about trauma and trauma recovery. The midbrain is where the emotional state resides, the amygdala, the hypothalamus, the hippocampus, all of those we already know neurologically are radically shifted when a person is encountering a life or death threatening event. And it shifts unconsciously in us. That's what helps our heart rate to go up. That's what causes us to have an emotion that helps us to survive, etc. And then you have the cortex where the ego basically resides. And that's our consciousness and our logic. What happens is in general, we're in our cortex we're doing fine, life is logical, the events are reasonable, we're able to process them. But some traumatic event comes to us, something even just like a car accident, comes to us and automatically the brain shifts gears and goes into these more primitive parts of the brain where it generates the high heart rate and the blood pressure, generates the emotion of fear or anger or whatever helps save us from the event, and it does that automatically. We don't decide to do that. So in that sense, what's happening first is neurological changes. After those occur, then the ego says, what just happened to me? So it's not really psychological first, it's neurological. It's a living organism activating unconscious mechanisms neurophysiologically to survive the event. After the event is survived is when the ego kicks in and says, now what do I do with this? So I really believe that trauma understood best is understood first as a neurophysiological response of survival, which then the psyche tries to make sense of later. There are so many factors we need to consider both brain-wise and body-wise when it comes to working with trauma. And Dr. Berselli will take us through his revolutionary trauma release process in a bonus webinar created especially for gold members in our series on the treatment of trauma. He'll tell us how trauma can weaken the body's defenses over time and share an exercise that can help the body heal from trauma. If you'd like to watch this webinar along with all the other webinars in this series, just click on the link below to become a gold member today.